Hi, this video will show you how to use the Mbind software automation function to toggle relay boards with push notification boards. First, connect the boards to your computer or connect to the same network with your computer. Here, I use the Wi Fi push notification board from National Control Devices and the Wi Fi relay board from Robot Iconic. Make sure that you have Mbind software Lite or Pro version installed and run the software. Select the Devices Manager button to add the board to the manager. For the push notification board, select the Manufacturer National Control Devices. Give the board a name so it will be easier for later use. For here, I named mine My Push Notification Board with all cap first letters. Select the Device Type Push Notification and the Connection Interface Network because it's a Wi Fi interface. Double click the board listed below to select it. And then we have a relay board. Like before, give the board a name. For here, I named my, my relay board with all capitalist letters. Select the manufacturer, robot electronics, and select device type off the board. A list of Wi Fi boards will be listed below. Double click the board to select it. Keep the port number at its default setting. Then, you will see that both boards are added into a button. Next, we'll add a scan channel to test the push notification board. Make sure to select the device, the push notification board. And we will be testing channel 1. The text label will show open or close for the input channel. Here we have the scan channel. You will see when I push the button, the light on the board is on. That means the channel is closed. The channel widget will also show closed. This means M button works with this board. And then we will add a relay button to test the relay board. Make sure to select the relay board that we added before, my relay board. Then select the action toggle and relay. We will also be testing the first channel of the relay board. This relay button will be able to control the relay board and show its status. When I click this button, the relay is on. When I click again, the relay is on. Click on. Click off. This means the relay board also works with M button. Both of the boards work with M button, but they don't have any relationship with each other. When I push this button, the relay board has no action. Now, we will use the M button automation function to set up the relationship between the two boards. Click Automation. Add a push notification contact closure rule. And give the rule a name. Here, we will set up the input channel of the push notification board. We set up the first channel that we tested. Make sure the device is the push notification board. Then, we will select the action when status changes from open to close. It will be a relay action. Select the action device, the relay board that we named before. Select the action toggle when relay. And now, we have set up the relationship between the two boards. You will see when I push the button, the relay is on. When I push the button again, the relay is off. 